So we're in Nashville uh, today, and we're stopping at Room in the Inn. Uh, Room in the Inn has this really cool project where they devoted a, a space to uh, setting up basically a coffee shop. You know, I think there's something to be said for sitting down in a cozy spot, having a cup of coffee, being waited on. You know, those are things that the homeless community really don't ever get the opportunity to experience. They let me play a couple of tunes, and, you know, I was able to, uh, to ask a couple of questions. You always hear incredible stories, and when you hear some of these, these things these people have overcome, uh, it really just it puts things in, in, in perspective. I was raised in, a, uh, I guess at the time you could call it a middle class black family. In my family, we didn't never uh, worry about eating or uh, having shoes with holes up. I never, never experienced those kind of things. What happened was I, I played, I was a baseball player and I played ball a lot and I got to go to Tennessee State uh, and play baseball and I got hurt and I had surgery on my knee and it gave me Demerol and I ended up liking Demerol. And um, from Demerol, I went into uh, more things, heroin and stuff like this, and everything I gathered was for the addiction. After a three-day binge, I called my mom, and she told me not to come to the house. And that's actually what changed my life, because the last person in the world I wanted afraid of me was my mother. Uh, I never thought I would be working at a place like this with my background. There's no way you could have convinced me of that 12 years ago that somebody would give me the keys to come and open up a building so people could come in. I'm the first person to get here every morning. You know, I, I've learned that your gratitude uh, will determine your altitude. And you do things for people. You know, just like you say, you wanted to go out and you wanted to bless somebody, and then you sit down and talk to these guys that you never thought they had a story, and then you're like, God, man, what did he do? You know, right. I'm you know, walking away so, with just as much. Yeah, you, way yeah, more. Yeah, right. you, you get more than you give. And for a recovering addict who has demolished his credibility all his life, and then he's up to this point where people know, oh, I'm not worried about Davis there. When somebody says that to me, you know, they might be saying it in jest, but they don't know what that means for me to hear that. Room in the Inn mentioned to me that they were having trouble outfitting some of their temporary housing. I happen to have a connection at Lisa Mattresses, so I reached out and you know, told them Room in the Inn's predicament, and they were gracious enough to donate 37 mattresses, and they re-outfitted they re the whole place. And those mattresses are being delivered today. This this gift from Lisa, um, you know, these guys, you know, they don't, they don't have the funds to buy new stuff. We're gonna be able to go through and swap out the mattresses for, for our residents, and they're gonna get a great night's sleep, which is awesome, which is incredible. Always so, helps them. We're so glad to have you here, and then this worked out, so it's just Yeah, I'm happy, awesome. I'm happy to make the connection. Yeah, so here, I'll show, I'll show you the apartment.